Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss a subject that puts fear in every caravaner, and that's the subject of damp. So to give you our story so far, we purchased this caravan just under 12 months ago. We bought it from a caravan dealer and he assured us when we purchased the caravan that he'd done some pre-inspection checks on the caravan and there was no damp. Everything was working. Uh, we had lots of confidence when we pulled away from the dealer forecourt that we had a solid caravan and lots of happy memories to make in front of us. Well, fast forward nearly a year on and the caravan was due its service. So we booked it in with an independent proof workshop. They came here to our house uh, to do the service and to our horror, the engineer discovered that the caravan was riddled with damp, uh, particularly in the floor, as this is an Alitec caravan. It's quite a common problem, apparently, that these do suffer from damp in the floor, which is still made of wood. So in the expert opinion of the engineer that serviced our caravan, he thinks that the damp has been there a lot longer than 12 months. So what do we do about this? Well. Firstly, we're going to get a second opinion and uh, I've booked the caravan in to another approved workshop uh, next week to ask them to look at the damp and to give me their opinion on about it and also obviously how long they think the damp's been there. If they back up the first opinion, which is that the damp has been there for longer than 12 months, then I believe we have a strong case for the dealer in question that we bought the caravan from to put that right. Um, I've contacted the uh, advice line on the Caravan and Camping Club's uh, site and I spoke to a, a person on there, I assume was a legal person as it was their legal advice line and she assures me that yeah you know we're doing the right thing, we've got every right to take the caravan back to the dealer even though it's been 12 months since we bought it from him, um, especially if we've got solid scientific, well, not scientific, especially if we've got solid, you know, opinion, let's put it like that, from two other qualified approved engineers that they believe the damp's been there longer than 12 months, then, you know, we've got a good case for the dealer to hopefully to put that right. So let's see what happens now. Um, I'll show you the damp in question because if you've got one of these caravans, seriously, a Bailey caravan this is, a unicorn, I believe it's a common fault and if you've got one, you need to check your caravan out because this might be your caravan too. Um, I know damp affects most caravans at some point in their life, it's not, you know, they're not impervious of it, but please check your caravan. So anyway, I'll try and show you as best as I can the damp that we've got as it stands now before any fix has been done. So let's have a look at that. So firstly, this is the front locker of our caravan. I'll just step back so you can see. And I've lifted the black plastic tray. I've just got it propped up with that scraper. And you can see the extent. The floor is completely rotten with damp it's very soft and spongy to touch and interestingly you can see there the construction of the floor it's a thin layer of plywood on top of insulation foam with another thin layer of plywood underneath so this damp is getting in somewhere it's as wet on the other side underneath the caravan in fact it's probably even worse um so that's that's within the front locker so let's have a look underneath the caravan okay it's quite hard to see but we're at the front of the caravan here you can see i'll just zoom out a bit and we can see that's probably not very clear anyway go back under there we go so all the way along the front it's absolutely saturated This is this is just next to the A-frame here, that's the A-frame. 
And that continues to the other side of the A-frame as well. So I'm inside the caravan at the moment and the plan is to get underneath the front seats and pull this vinyl up here and have a look underneath the vinyl, see what the situation is with the damp in this area here, if any. Uh, we know that the damp is mainly so far at the front in, the, in this locker area, which would be underneath here. So I'm not expecting, hopefully, to find too much of an issue under here. But let's, uh, let's have a look. Okay, so the front side locker, as you can see, it has a plastic lining inside. And there's just a few screws in the corners. Just undo them to lift the liner out. Let's do that. Right, we've got the... Um, plastic tray off now interestingly this looks like it's already had an attempted fix in the past because this is this black plastic is a sheet of i think it's a sheet of grp plastic on top of the wood and you can see there i don't know it looks like because the foam's not quite knit, not tight to that, is it? So that suggests, I think this has been attempt and a repair has been attempted. I mean, this is uh, the irony is this is dry here, but what's it like underneath this? This is probably saturated, but there's definitely been an attempt to deal with this problem in the past. No doubt about it, because this isn't standard. I don't believe this is standard, but maybe it is. If you've got one of these vans and you've got exactly the same situation here, may let me know in the comments below. Right, we're at the uh, other side, trays out, and exactly the same has been done on this side. As you can see, it's had some sort of new wood fitted in. I think it's wood and it's got some sort of special paint over the top of it, is what I'm guessing. Just hard to see, but that has definitely been messed with. It's not this is not standard. It's obviously had some sort of bonding glue put on it for the tray to stick down, is my guess quite sure what's going on there it's a bit of a messy job let's focus the camera there we go okay so this van has had damp problems in the past someone's tried to rectify it um so that suggests this definitely had damp before we bought the caravan which was a year ago so I'm going to check out uh, this area of the caravan in the front in the front of the caravan again. This time on the right hand side, I'm going to lift up the uh, vinyl here where it's stapled in. That's just to show it was already stapled. I'm going to lift that up and just have a look along the side here, see if there's any issues. Let's have a look at that. Right, okay. Um, so this is the Z Mac. This is the area we're just looking into. Under the front seats, and lo and behold, damp. Quite a lot of it. And it smells pretty bad. Looks like it's going all the way down the side of the van. But particularly bad in this area. I mean, you know, if I pulled this back further, I'm sure this would 
How far is it going to come? This way, I mean, I don't know. Let's see if we can uh, get this out. state of that. Not good. Oops. Okay, never mind. Rotten. So bad. So this side, for some reason, is worse than the other side. Quite a lot worse. To get in through this door, maybe I don't know. Could be I don't know. Is it just the usual under the floor problem? Okay. Okay, so you join me now three weeks later and um, just give you an update on what actually happened with the caravan. Um, we did take it back to the second independent workshop and they fully inspected the caravan and the damp was confirmed as, as with the original uh, service engineer who looked at the caravan originally uh, to be, in their opinion, there longer than 12 months. And they quoted, believe it or not, nearly £4,000, it was, I think it was, with the VAT, it was about £3,900 to repair the caravan, which, if I'm being honest, seems a little extreme. Um, the report detailed lots of things that they were going to do, some I don't think was required. So we may have been able to shave off a bit of money off that bill, um, but ultimately £3,900. So... I booked an appointment with the dealer that we bought the caravan from and we took the caravan back for him to inspect himself. He had a look at the damp. He tried to um, play it down. He was saying, he, in his opinion, the damp wasn't as bad as we were trying to make out it was. He was adamant that the damp wasn't there when he sold us the caravan even though he didn't give us any evidence or any proof to that effect. There was no service report done before we bought the caravan to show that it didn't have the damp, etc. Anyway, uh, we had a long discussion and he gave us a few options. Um, option number one was to buy the caravan back from us uh, at a book price. Well, actually... With respect to him, he offered us £500 more than the book price. Option two was to part exchange the caravan for another one in his stock. Option three was to offer some money towards repair. But when we discussed that, it came to light that he was only really prepared to go up to about £700. And, oh, by the way, and that was only to pay for half of the repair. So in his opinion, it should have cost about £1,500 to fix. Um, and he was prepared to pay half of that. And then option number four, which was an option, and it was a viable option, was to take him to court. Um, and we discussed that as well. He obviously um, explained in, from his point of view that he would put up a good defence, that he would bring people to court that would vouch for him, etc., um, etc., and I believe we did have a strong case. I had two independent workshops in their opinion. And this is the word opinion. It's not guaranteed. In their opinion, the damp was there longer than 12 months. But I guess he could also find somebody who would say in their opinion, it hadn't been there longer than 12 months. So anyway, to cut a long story short, um, myself and my wife had a chat about it and we decided to let him buy the caravan back. Um, we'd lost faith in the caravan, sadly. As much as we loved it, we didn't want to use it in the condition it was in. So anyway, to cut a long story, he offered us um, £7,100 for the caravan, which was considerably less than we paid for it 12 months ago. 
Um, but, you know, ultimately it allowed us to draw a line under the issue. It allowed us to, you know, move on. And um, we will now, obviously in the future, potentially look at buying a new caravan. But the moral of this story is to make sure when you're buying a caravan, no matter how old it is, um, because with my research, it, this, this problem affects more newer caravans. Ours was 2011. It wasn't a new caravan, to be fair to it. But I've, I've heard stories of people with a year old caravan and they've had this problem. So it affects all caravans. So no matter how old the caravan is that you're buying, my advice would always be get an independent, qualified person to inspect the caravan first and get, get, a, get a report done. Hopefully it has a clean bill of health. You buy the caravan with confidence. If it doesn't have a clean bill of health, then you're walking away maybe having spent maybe a hundred pounds, 150 pounds to pay somebody to do that report. It's certainly a lot cheaper than spending thousands on a caravan that then you're left with problems with. So anyway, hope this video has been useful. Hope you've, uh, you've found it enjoyable. If so, please subscribe to the channel. Um, we will be looking at purchasing a caravan again soon. So hopefully there'll be some more content coming your way soon. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.